So the next one we're going to take a look at is the match function. We'll do it by itself here and then get you to practice it. And then we'll try out the index and match together. All right, here we go. So the match function, remember the index function, it returns a value at a specific position. So we said, hey, go into this list, go to column number four, give me what's inside of row 10, something like that. And it gave you back the value of that position, right? Now the match function kind of does the opposite. It's gonna take a value such as some employee IDs, and then it's gonna give you back its position within the data set, within the array, okay? So give it a value, return its position, its numeric value back to us, its numeric position back to us. Kind of the opposite to what the index does. So I'm gonna hop over here to D4. We're gonna have it search for these employee IDs inside of this master list and return us the number, the position back to us. Here we are. So I'm inside of D4. I'm just gonna type in equals match. Let's open up a parentheses. I'm gonna hit the FX button. Just give us that more visual approach to it. All right, first thing it wants to know is the lookup value. What am I searching for? Well, I'm gonna give it this ID. What is that? Cell B4. We're gonna tell it to search for employee ID 1054. Now, next thing it wants to know is the lookup array. Where am I gonna find this at? Here, it's on the index match master employee list. And I'm gonna grab all of this data right here from A2 down to A38. And I'm gonna lock that down. Let's highlight that F4, lock that down. Now the last thing it wants to know, and this is optional. Okay? This is kind of similar to the VLOOKUP and the HLOOKUP that we saw earlier. We got match type, but they changed the values on us. So instead of true or false or leaving it blank, which is what the VLOOKUP or the HLOOKUP uses, this one uses some numeric values, a one, a zero, or a negative one, indicating which value to return. That's not very helpful, right? If I hit this link, help on this function, this opened up on my other window here. This is gonna open up the help from Microsoft, uh, Microsoft about the match function. Gives you a whole bunch of great information. And here's the match type. So if it's one or omitted, meaning you leave it blank, the match finds the largest value that is less than or equal to the lookup value. If you do a zero, the match finds the first value that is exactly equal to your lookup value. If it's a negative one, the match finds the smallest value, remember positive one or leaving a blank was the largest, smallest value that is greater than or equal to the lookup value. So in our case, I'm looking for employee IDs. If it can't find the specific employee that I want, I don't want the next largest or smallest value that matches. I want the exact or nothing at all. If it's nothing, if it can't find it, it's actually gonna give you an error back. So remember, I just got that through this help on this function. So in this case, I'm gonna click zero. We want the exact match. All right, what we're looking for, where to find it, and then the exact match. I'll hit okay. All right, so employee ID number 1054 is in the first position. So if I hop over here, let's just take a look. Oops, excuse me, if I hop over here, 1054 is in the first position. Remember, we started at cell A2. Let's drop this down. I'm just gonna copy the formula so it finds these other ones. All right, so 1078 is at the fifth position. Let's just confirm. One, two, three, four, five. 1078 is at the fifth position and so on. This is the match function. Kind of the opposite to what the index did. Here, we're giving it a value, telling it where to search, and it's gonna return its numeric position back to us. So try this one out. This is the match function. Create the first one, copy it down if you like, try it again if you'd like to. Right, change the numbers if you want to, whatever. Get a little bit of practice on this one. And then we're gonna bring them together. We're gonna nest them together. This will overcome the limitation of the VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP.